Hello, every somebody out there that's praying like me. I hope you're having a great day. We're in the city of Hobbs. Uh, we have prayed all the way down through Tatum, through Lovington, and now in Hobbs. Um, and walked through these cities and prayed. We had to drive through Tatum, uh, but in the side-by-side. -side. But every day we're going 45 miles, and every day we're praying. I walk as far as I can. But I want to say something about unity in the body of Christ. <clears throat> the Bible says in Amos 3.3, 3, how can two walk together unless they first agree? You know, there's people in our city and other cities that want to promote these prayer groups and this, let's unify, but it's always on their terms. It's never agreeing on what the Bible says. It's never agreed on taking stands. We've taken so many stands in our city, like so many other pastors in other cities in New Mexico, to not only not have the other churches and pastors stand with us, but also have them stand against us. And some people wonder why there's not a unity among the pastors and a, and a unity among the people. It's because we don't agree. And we can't walk together unless we agree. And if we're not going to take stands on abortion, we took a stand on abortion years ago uh, through our relentless ministry at the high schools, and not one other church stood with us. Matter of fact, six churches stood against us, the same ones that are trying to promote unity now. Look where we are with abortion because they didn't take that stand. And those same students that we were taking the stand with are now voters. And many are voting for the people that are voting for more abortion, not less. Guys, we have to agree on the Bible, and we have to agree that the Bible is the only truth and that God has called us to speak up for those who don't have a voice. We also have to agree that we stood up to the drag queen parade, 16 churches, and I stood up, all Baptist churches but us, but Church on the Move. But the other churches in the community refused to sign on, refused to sign the letter we put in the paper. And we ended that drag queen parade in, in uh, the drag queen event in our parks and in our city. But it took us coming together and agreeing and then taking a stand together. I think it's hypocritical for people to say stand with us when they never stand on the right side of these issues at any other level. And so don't buy, don't buy into that. The Bible says this, we don't know their hearts. I don't, don't claim to, but it says you'll know them by their fruit. And so church family, listen, the fruit that we're looking for, those who tell everybody about Jesus, they can. Those who tithe, those who honor God with their tithe, those, those that serve in the local body of Christ. And so those are the people we're standing with, those who have a genuine heart for the lost and a genuine heart for the things that God has a heart for. They hate the things he hates and love the things that he loves. That's the unity we're looking for. That's what we're praying, that God said that he is looking throughout the whole earth to show himself strong whose heart is loyal. I'm praying he pours out his spirit on those hearts, heals those people, provides for those people, moves with a rain of the spirit in those people, pours out his salvation through those people, those whose hearts really belong to him. And by their fruit, we know it and we'll know it. And so anyway, I want to tell you I love you. I got Pastor Tim here with me. I'm going to give him a minute to say something. He wanted to say something about unity too. Go ahead and share that scripture, Pastor Tim. Up, he's got to look for it now, but he'll find it. And uh, I wanted him to share. He's walking with me today, him and Reed. We got a slow start this morning here in Hobbs because I, I had to have, go see a chiropractor real quick, uh, but it wasn't quick. And so anyway, we're moving again and moving forward. Nothing's going to stop this. Nothing is going to stop this 40 days of prayer. And so Pastor Tim, go ahead. Scripture I was uh, praying about, church families, I will give them one heart and one purpose, to worship me forever for their own good and for, good, for the good of all their descendants. Um, church family, I'm just grateful. I'm extremely honored and blessed to be out here with Pastor Troy. Uh, part of our prayer as we've come through cities is to see, uh, no longer see hirelings, but to see some, some men that will lay down their life, uh, 
shepherds. like the good shepherd did. Like the, the shepherd Jesus, he laid down his life for his flock. We need some more pastors all over New Mexico. Roswell, Hobbs, Lovington, Tatum, from the north to the south, east to the west of the state. Shepherds that will lay down their lives for the people. Not hirelings that will come in and make it about them, but shepherds that say, I'm going to stand up for the flock and lay down my life. So, Pastor, appreciate you. Church family, keep us in prayer. Thank you for the prayers. We're blessed to have them. You know, and I'm going to say something about, there's three types of shepherds. There's a shepherd, a hireling, and a wolf. A wolf makes it all about them. A hireling does nothing, takes no stands, always hides behind a board, always hides behind another group, says, well, I can't, I can't do this, I can't do that. Always just make no waves, flow with the culture, itch ears when they preach. But, but true shepherds love the sheep. And God's looking for those true shepherds that have his heart. And I'm praying for them. If you're one of them, we're praying for you. That God will pour out his spirit. We're, we're praying it over every city. That he finds shepherds. He finds people that love him. That he trusts pouring out his spirit on. That he, that he provides for them. He heals their bodies. and provides health and the well-being and the, and the ability and all the resources they need to reach their cities. Guys, keep praying. God's already moving. Got another miracle text today about an awesome God report that I've been praying about for a long time. And it's been part of this prayer. And so anyway, God's moving. Keep praying. Keep standing. Hey, don't just send your prayer requests in. As he's answering those prayers and miracles are happening and things are turning around, send your uh, praise reports in too. Prince, send them in. One lady prayed for a raise, got one within four days. Prayed that scripture that we talked about. And so, listen, and then others are healed and other things are happening. And I'm expecting God to move. Let's all expect in faith God to move. Love you. Have a great evening. See you tomorrow.